Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And uh, we're going to take a look in more detail at this antenna that I mentioned um, a, vid a video or two ago. This is one of many antennas that uh, Timothy sells on eBay. You can go back to my previous uh, show on this antenna to get the details of um, where you can get it on eBay and who Timothy is. Uh, this particular one that he sent me, he actually sent me two. Here is the other one for 40 meters. Um, these are dipole antennas and they're cut lengthwise for a specific freeze, uh, frequency. This one is cut for 31 meters, the international broadcast band that I listen to most often. And it comes with this pouch. Um, it has either a B and C connector or one of these connectors right here. Your choice. And uh, he's integrated that into the wires. Um, this is a buildup of epoxy and shrink tubing or shrink type tubing. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit here. So you can see the epoxy down in here and then there's the hook to hang it. And um, he does, he goes through this process to make this last in the weather um, for a long, long time. And then here's the single wire, two legs. And then he's got tabs that he puts shrink wrap tubing on on the end so that you can string this up. And it also comes with these Verco, Vercro straps because one of the things you would want to use this for is going into the field and doing some communications if you're a ham or some listening if you're just a shortwave listener. Now he tells me that this particular one for the 31 meter band is about 50 feet long. So I've got to find a location to be able to string this up in my quote antenna farm. Ideally I will not have a location that's best for this. Ideally from what I recall you want this to be completely horizontal, doesn't have to be, but it's better, it's horizontal, and you want it to be a minimum of 20 feet in the air. I probably can't meet those requirements because I can no longer get on a roof to mount antennas higher up on my roof, my second story. So I'm going to have to do it from the ground. And I have one setup that I can use and I'm going to have to um, probably get some permission from my neighbor to temporarily put this up for testing because I think I'm going to have to string part of it one side into his yard and then the other side into my yard uh, just because of the location of the place that I'm going to hang it from in a tree. That's the reason that that is. If I was Putting this up permanently, then I would try to get hold of my handyman neighbor who can get on the roof for me and mount it permanently. Um, I need to get him to help me anyway because I like the concept that uh, another gentleman who sent me some antennas to review has in that he sent me in his kit, he sent me some pulleys so that I can have that pulley installed on a link of, co of, of cord and then I can lower and raise from the ground that pulley system which is where you attach the antenna and I've shown that to you in previous videos I'll try to remember to show it to you um, 
Later today when I shoot a video outside of where potentially I'm going to put this. Okay? So that's where we're at. Um, again, kit comes with carrying pouch, the antenna, the Velcro to wrap up the, the wire when you're storing it. And that's about it. So if you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. And we're on to the installation of the antenna, and then we can do the testing. Okay, bye-bye.